<laughs> hey, what's up everybody? I literally did not think this existed, but wait, hold on, watch. I always wanted to see if there was a pedal or if there was some type of device that would help me play chords and play on top of them at the same time. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I just mean like hold the chord, almost like a pedal, like a sustain pedal for a keyboard. So I always wondered if there was something out there that did that and I finally found something that was actually pretty cool and it just came today. Check it out. It's called the Freeze Pedal. This is by Electro Harmonics. Uh, and this is not a sponsored, you know, video or uh, this is not an endorsement type of video. But I just like the pedal. I saw it. I did some research on it. And I'm going to try it out for the first time. I haven't even tried it out. I've just seen other people do it. Um, so I'm going to try it out now. Let you guys see. I'm literally just now opening the box. So I have no idea how to use it yet. <laughs> but we're going to find out. Let's go. Get you a little booklet here, about your harmonics. Of course, no one ever reads the instructions, so. Okay, so just by looking at it, you have the main switch here. You have a toggle switch from fast, slow, and then latch. And then you have the effects level, so let's check it out. So, I guess, I play a chord and then I press this button here. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm pressing the actual, the main button here and I have it on latch. So when I click that, it holds the chord for me and I can play on top of it. So let's do this again. So I play the chord first. Okay, so I guess I get the hang of it. So you can play a note or a chord, anything, and then press that button and it'll hold it for you. It'll sustain that note for you. So let's see what fast does. I'm doing everything with my foot. <laughs> so I flip the switch up to fast. And let's see, so if I play a... Oh, so, okay, so fast, it seems like... Okay, so you hold down that, you hold down that switch for the fast. And I, when you let it go, it cuts off. It works the same way. Works the same way. So I lift up and it cuts off. Um, let's see what slow does. That's pretty impressive, my footwork. <laughs> I just don't feel like bending up. <laughs> I'm lazy. Um, so let's see what slow does. It does this. Let's see if it does. This. Okay, so I have to hold that too, but it's like a slow release. I guess that's what that means. It's like a very slow, it pulls off, it kind of fades out a little bit. So if you hear what I'm doing, um, so it holds the chord. So it's not such a harsh cutoff like the fast does. So the fast does this, let's flip that up. That's right off. The slow actually has a little slow release. I actually like that. This paired with like a reverb pedal or something would be amazing. Hold on, wait. I'm doing it wrong. There it is. All right, so I always have to remember, <laughs> it's pretty weird. So I have to play the chord first, then press the pedal. Fade out. I like that one. And I like the latch too, so. The latch actually, I don't have to press that down and hold it. I can just. And the effects level actually, that controls the volume of that chord that's being held, sustained. So look at the footwork, ladies and gentlemen, footwork. <laughs> 
So you can change the volume of, of that sustained chord or sustained note. So whatever note I press when I press down that switch, that's gonna hold it out for me. So now it's playing, it's, it's holding the C. I'm just thinking of ways this can be so beneficial for your practice routine that you can hear that one note droning, right? And then you could play the scale on top of that or whatever scale you're playing to or whatever is related to, or you can play the chord on top of that. Let me stop it. Yeah. So you can play the chord on top of that and actually play the scale to see how, the, see how it relates. So if I just wanted to play a C, there's a C. Now I can play my C major scale. I can play a C Dorian scale. So you can see how it sounds in relation to the root note. Mixolydian. So you can use it for one note. There it is. You can use it for one note or you can use it for chords. This is actually amazing. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. I wanted you to see uh, how it was in real time just trying out a new product or a new pedal. I'm literally trying this for the first time and I have some more work to do. Um, this is definitely gonna be fun for me to figure out and to play with. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit more of that. If you're interested in this, the link is in the description. Um, check it out, it's crazy. <laughs> Great practice tool. Um, make sure you're also coming out clean, clear, and precise, like I say, after every lesson, even though this wasn't a lesson. Uh, <laughs> until next time, I'll see you.